Hello everyone, it's Jackson at Covalence, and in this video I just wanted to take a few minutes to describe the three common mistakes that we see beginners make when they come into our coding bootcamp curriculum when they're learning HTML and CSS. So if you already know HTML and CSS, this might be good entertainment value for you, but if you're trying to learn it, this is going to be a really good reference video because we see these mistakes being made time and time again. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to walk through these mistakes and how you can fix them. So I'm going to go back and forth between my text editor VS Code and I've got two files here pulled up, an index.html and a styles.css. And I'm going to go back and forth between that and Google Chrome where I have the developer tools opened up. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to bring to your attention, the first mistake, is not importing or linking the style sheet in your index.html. So what is this going to look like? What are some of the symptoms that you might see that you might need to troubleshoot when you first approach this issue? Well, the first one is we have an index.html here with doc type, HTML tag, head, and body, and we've got some sort of CSS class ID that we want to then use in our HTML. So you can see here that in this h1 tag that I've already populated in this file, I have a class with the uh, value important dash text. So I'm trying to apply some sort of style here. And now if I go over to my styles.css, you can see that this style is, uh, has the rule set for color, red, font weight, 700. So it should have a red color and it should be bolded when I view this in the browser. So let's go do that. Well, now I can see that I have my H1 tag here and I can see the class here in the developer tools, which PSA, if you do not have your developer tools open in Chrome all the time while you're learning, that's another mistake that is not in this video, but you need to do it. So just right click, hit inspect, and it'll open up those developer tools. But I digress. Let's focus on this class name. So why are these styles not being applied? You can even see down here that I don't see this important text class being shown with the styles in this editor. And if I look in sources, you can see that the only file I'm actually loading from my file system is this index.html. And I'm not, I don't see those styles in the actual web page either. So you're going to need to go back to your code and make sure that the style sheet is imported and it is not. So let's do that. Underneath the title and the head of the document, I'm going to use VS Code's Emmet abbreviation to make this a little bit simpler for myself. And I'm going to add a link tag here with uh, the rel attribute of style sheet and the href pointing to my particular file. So it auto populates it with style.css. We want this to be styles. So I'm going to change that, save it, go back to my browser, refresh, and now we see the styles.css in our sources. It's actually seeing this file because it's being loaded in the index.html. And we can also see this important text rule set down here. And most importantly, we see those styles actually being shown to the user and rendered in the browser. So that's the first mistake that we see being made all the time. It's very easy to forget that you have to tell your index.html where your styles actually are in your file system. So if they, for example, were in a styles folder, you would need to change this. You would need to say that it's styles and then specify the actual file that you're looking for. But we're gonna keep it simple in this video and just say that we have one file in the same uh, hierarchy of the file system as, my, as our index.html. Okay, so what is the second most common error that we see? Well, this one is a little bit more nuanced. So we often see um, an issue with actually using classes. So it's kind of confusing when you're first learning HTML and CSS, like why, when you use a period for a class or a, ha a pound sign or hashtag for an ID. And you know, it's also something you have to learn that you don't have to do that in the HTML, but you do have to do that in your CSS file. So let's go ahead and sort of demonstrate what that mistake looks like. So we'll see students oftentimes say that they want to put this period here for the class in the HTML. 
So you're going to have in the H1 tag here, class equals, and in quotes, period important dash text, because classes in CSS do need periods prepended to them in order to define that class rule set. But it's important to know that you don't do this in HTML. This is just for the styles.css, the CSS file that you're actually using. Same thing with an ID. So you'd use a hashtag as like some ID here, and this might be uh, color green. So whatever rule set you want to do here for this CSS file. But you don't have to do that in the HTML. Going back to the index.html file, you just need to have the name of that rule set. The attribute is what's going to denote whether or not it's looking for a class or an ID in your CSS file. So let's make that mistake and see what happens. So I'm going to add that period here in my HTML. We can see that it is still the same class with the same properties here in the CSS file. And if I go back to Chrome now, again, it's broken. It's, it's pulling in this class attribute, but it's got that period there and we don't want that to be there. But this isn't a, a problem with loading the CSS file because if we go to the sources tab, we can still see that that file is there. So we know that the file is there, so we, we're importing the file correctly, but the style is not being rendered to the user. So that's when you need to investigate a little bit deeper and make sure that there aren't any typos in the actual attributes of the HTML. Make sure you didn't accidentally copy and paste over that hashtag or the period when you're actually defining that attribute. So this is made all the time in, in a similar manner. You know, it's very easy to misspell class or misspell the class in the quotes that you're trying to specify. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you've imported your style sheet and you have imported the first or the correct file name. The second thing you want to look at if your styles are not being rendered to the browser is make sure that you've specified the correct class or ID in the actual HTML attribute and make sure everything is spelled correctly and in accordance with the style that you're actually trying to define. So that brings me to the last uh, mistake that we're going to cover in this video and that is errors in your CSS file. This one is really common. So what would that look like? Well, let me, let me come up with an example here. So the first one that we might see is in a similar manner to uh, what we just covered in the previous mistake. We might be trying to create a class, but we've actually specified some sort of element with important text. We might be trying to say, I want this class to be, um, anytime I use this class, it to be color red and font weight 700. But if you don't use the period, or if you're trying to use an ID and you don't use this hashtag, then that's not going to work. It's instead going to be looking for some sort of element, or specifically all of the elements with some uh, name important text, which obviously doesn't exist in HTML. So be very careful when you're defining these rule sets. And then the final thing is you also want to be very careful. This is probably the biggest mistake. Make sure that you have a semicolon at the end of every property that you're changing in your CSS file. So if you leave it like this, you can see that CS that VS code is going to be complaining at us and with all these red squiggly lines and it's going to have a different color here for the font weight because this property wasn't properly broken with that semicolon. But if we go back to the browser, it's also not going to show our styles correctly because when it tries to render this important text class, it's got color with red font weight 700. So that semicolon is saying break this property here. So I only want it to have the color red. Otherwise it's going to keep reading it line by line and it's going to try to pull up those styles to that property that did not have that semicolon. And you can see that that class is not being rendered even though it's on the HTML. So make sure that your semicolons are in place in your CSS file. Make sure that the classes and IDs and elements are defined properly with the appropriate um, actual uh, symbol for them, whether it's the period or hashtag, or if it's a pseudo class, make sure that's 
appropriately identified, or if it's just an element, make sure that you have that appropriately uh, typed as well. And then the final thing is, you know, when you have a lot of styles here, you might accidentally lose a curly brace, either opening or closing, or you might have multiple ones when you're, especially when you get into things like less or sass, and it's very easy to lose track of these things. So if we go back here, now this is a little less noticeable in this example because I only am using one class and it's not actually changing it. But again, if you're using something very helpful like VS Code or Atom, it's going to tell you that there's an error here. So make sure that you are very carefully looking at your CSS file and you're looking for these things and when your styles aren't applied appropriately, make sure that they are uh, cleaned up, make sure they have semicolons, make sure they're typed appropriately, and then make sure that you're importing that style sheet and make sure that you are um, typing everything correctly into your HTML attributes. So let's do a little teaser here, and I'm actually going to use the image abbreviation to make a little list here to summarize what we did today. So I'm going to type UL and then greater than and LI times three and hit tab, and that's going to create an unordered list for me with three list items. So the first one is import your CSS style sheet. The second common mistake that we covered today was um, make sure there are no typos or unneeded periods, hashtags, etc. in your HTML attributes. And the final one was make sure there are no typos or missing semicolons or additional curly braces in your CSS file. So let's go ahead and go back and I'm going to blow that up really quick so you can have that for your reference. And that's it. That's it for this video. So that's the three most common mistakes that we see beginners make when they're learning HTML and CSS, either through our free introduction to web development course or in our in-person boot camps that Covalence has been doing for the past couple of years. So I hope that this video helped you either troubleshoot some of your problems or you know, helped you uh, avoid them if you're seeing this before you've actually encountered them. And I hope it brought a lot of value to you. So if it did, give us a thumbs up. If you really liked it and you're looking forward to more of these videos, go ahead and subscribe because we're gonna be producing these um, a lot more in the future. So if you have any suggestions on this video or if any future videos, just leave a comment below and I will catch you in the next one.